Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick review video for just a few of you that struggled a little bit on the parts of speech assignment, and then I'm going to give you another chance to do it before I put grades up in the gradebook. So, um, if you are getting this, it's because I do need you to redo your four questions that were on the bottom of this page. So there were a couple of things that I think people um, that didn't do so well struggled with. And the first, I feel like some of you are just confused about what you were supposed to do. And I say that because um, in the original video, remember that I said, like, if this top one is my pattern, it's one word per color, right? So some of you on number one had a sentence that was six or seven words long when really it should only be three words long the first word and this is the actual first pattern it was red yellow orange and again if you look on your paper red is an article and remember we said an article is a n or the so every sentence on number one should have started with an a or an an or a the and some of your sentences did not start with an a or an an or the so automatically you knew, I knew some of you were a little confused. So you had to have the A, N, or the, and then you had to have a noun, and then you had to have a verb. So um, I will do an example. It should be three words long, start with an A, N, or the, then a noun, then a verb. And it has to be a sentence, which means it has to make sense, right? I can't say the, skunk sprayed because I need a little more, right? So I'm going to come up with a sentence that is short because it's only three words, has to start with A, N, or the. So I'm going to say A, duck, ate. I don't need to know what he ate. I know a duck ate. There's my Article, adjective, a, n, or the. This is a noun, person, place, or thing. And this is something that he did, ate. So that would be an acceptable answer for number one. So on your paper, I need you to redo your number one for me. And then we're going to move on to the next one. You can pause me while you do that. I want you to go ahead and write a sentence, a, n, or the, noun, and a verb. And it has to make sense. And then I'm going to get our second one ready while you do that. Right, red, blue, yellow, orange, red, yellow. All right, so this one's longer. But you still have to follow the pattern. Like, you can't just go one, two, three, four, five, six. It has to be six words. I'm going to pick any six words. Red is A, N, or the. That blue is going to be an adjective. The yellow is going to be a noun, and so that adjective is going to describe that noun. And then I'm going to have the verb, and then I'm going to have an A, N, or the again, and then I'm going to have another noun. So um, let's say the adjective that will describe the noun, the small child. Now I need a verb, the small child um, sold a toy. All right, so let's check it. Is it six, and six words? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm off to the good start. First word should be a, an, or the. I have a the. Small, is that an adjective that would describe a noun? Yes. Child, person, place, or thing. I'm good. What did he do? He sold, that's my verb, A, N, or the on my red, toy for my noun. So that's the actual pattern for number two. So you can pause me, and I want you to go ahead and rewrite your sentence for number two. You give me a good sentence that makes sense, that has all the words in the right places, and then you can turn me back on, and we will look at number three. So number three, I'm going to have just a yellow and an orange and a purple. All right, yellow, orange, purple. 
So yellow, orange, purple is noun, verb, adverb. And so this purple is going to describe the orange. This one does not start with an A, N, or the. There's not an A, N, or the anywhere in it because I don't have a red block. So I have to start with the noun. Now it still has to make sense. So I could use a name. That's a really easy way to make this one make sense. Or um, like a puppies, you know, something like that. I could easily use without an A, N, or the before it. If I'm gonna talk about one thing, like a puppy, I need that A, a puppy. So, but if I say puppies, you see it's different. I don't need a puppies. So, but I think I'm going to start with a name. So I'm going to start with Susie. All right. So Susie is my noun. Now I need to know what she did and how she did it. That purple is going to describe the verb. That adverb is going to describe the verb. So Susie read quietly. How did she read? Quietly. Okay, so there's my sentence. Does it have three words? Yes. Is the first one a noun, a person, place, or thing? Yes. The second one is a verb, something she did, read. And then quietly is an adverb describing how she read. So this one's good. So pause me. Go ahead and write your number three. It's this actual pattern, yellow, orange, purple which is noun, verb, adverb, and then restart me, and we will do the last one. Let me get the last one set. Blue, blue, yellow, orange, red, yellow. Okay, so this one, two, three, four, five, six again. Green isn't in there. That's just over on the side. All right, so. This one is going to start with two adjectives and then a noun. So my two adjectives, and I did an example of this one on the video on Tuesday. Um, the two adjectives are both going to describe that one noun because the only thing that an adjective can't describe is a noun. So they both are going to describe that same noun. So two adjectives and then a noun and then a verb. So what that thing did or person did. And then the A, N, or the, that's the red, followed by a noun. So um, I'm going to do a number. I told you the other day we could do that. I'm going to say six, six short girls. So six girls and short girls. Now, what did they do? Jumped the fence. Okay, is it six words? Yes. Six is an adjective. Numbers are adjectives describing girls. Short is an adjective describing the girls. Jumped is that orange block right there. What did they jump? The, A, N, or the on that red, and then fence, another noun, a person, place, or thing. So go ahead and rewrite your sentence number four for me and let me know. Um, when you're finished with these, you're gonna send the new one back to me because the old one, I'm not going to grade and you're welcome because I want you to have a good grade on this. So go back and redo, send me the new one. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know, email me. We can FaceTime if you have questions, we can talk about it, but I want you to get a good grade on this one, mainly because I want you to understand it because next week we're doing another one and I want everyone to be good. Um, don't forget that you have this. This is a really helpful little paper that I attached to the lesson plan on Tuesday. So the only thing it didn't have, and I showed you this on the original video to write at the top, articles A, N, or the. When you see that red block, the only thing that can be there for the red block is A, N, or the. That's it. It's kind of the easiest one. 
All right, so make sure that you're looking at that if you're a little confused. And again, please let me know if you have any questions. Go ahead and redo your assignment and send it back to me, the new one, and I will get them graded. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. See you guys later. Bye.